All right guys, Austin here at True Automotive. Today we're here to talk about re-gear, uh, primarily on your Toyota, um, kind of what products you should be looking for, what installation looks like, you know, kind of start to finish, you know, is a 456 or a 529, what is everybody talking about? So please feel free to check us out, subscribe on our page, and let us know what you think. Um, we are working on a third gen Tacoma. Uh, we are doing a 529 gear uh, nitro uh, with master installs. Um, you know, really a common upgrade to do on your uh, third gen Tacoma with uh, the six speed automatic. Uh, kind of once you put some tires on there, larger tire, uh, that transmission really gets out of its efficiency zone. Um, six gear no longer is very usable. Uh, with the 529 swap, uh, the truck really livens up, uh, gets to start using that six gear again, and fuel economy and a little bit more power as well. Kind of a win-win. All right guys, we're kind of back on this Tacoma here talking about our re-gear. Um, you know, we, we get a very common question of what gear set we should run with your application. Um, you know, most commonly, um, if you plan on running a 34 or 35, a 529 is gonna be a no-brainer. Um, kind of more commonly, if you are running like a 32 or a 33 inch tall tire, uh, 488 might be a better option for you. Um, another thing to consider when looking at selecting the correct gear um, is how much weight that you're going to be hauling around. Like let's say you have uh, you know, a lot of stuff in the bed, possible small trailer, something like that. That's probably when you want to go with a deeper gear. So probably like a 529 even if you're on um, a 33 inch tall tire. Um, kind of giving you that low end power um, to help you offset for weight as well. Um, so you can kind of see here right now we've got the third member completely out of the truck. Um, pull the third member out, rebuild it on the bench, and essentially pull the front out as well and do the same thing uh, one at a time. Alright guys, kind of still back on this Tacoma talking about a re-gear. Kind of wanted to bring up a really good point um, first and foremost is break-in and how crucial the break-in of a new gear set is. Um, anytime that we do a gear swap, uh, we do the first initial uh, two or three heat cycles, which entails us going to drive it uh, for about five minutes, letting it cool down for about an hour, um, and then going driving it about 10 minutes and letting it cool down for an hour again. And basically kind of working up to about 20 minutes of total drive time. Um, after that, the customer picks up. Um, they will be driving no further than 50 miles um, at a time. Um, trying to avoid holding a particular speed. So say you don't want to hold 70 miles an hour consistent, no cruise control. Um, after that 500 mile mark um, has been hit, um, we go ahead and do a fluid change. Um, something that's commonly overlooked is the fact that the front differential is not spinning unless you're in four high. Um, so generally people are putting 500 miles on the rear way sooner than they are on the front. Um, so. A good way to break in the front would be to be driving it down a dirt road and kind of doing that same heat cycle um, with, you know, trying uh, to avoid high speeds, hard acceleration, that type of thing. Um, it's also not um, in the best, not the best idea to be using your four high on dry ground. Um, you really want to have it somewhere where it, it can actually slip a little bit, um, keeping it from being under a bind situation, that type of thing. Um, Front, like I said, break-in is, is a little bit more tedious, um, but is also you know crucial in the gear's life as well. All right, kind of wanted to give you guys a little more in-depth breakdown on what a ring and pinion is and what a ring and pinion does, um, and kind of teaching you a little bit more about um, rig gears. So right here we have a stock gear set, um, which is a 373. Um, kind of the biggest difference that you'll notice um, to the 529 setup is it is a much thicker gear and there are more teeth on it. Um, so this is your ring gear and then this would be your pinion. Um, your pinion is mounted um, right here and this is essentially the uh, input from the drive shaft um, which is connected to the transmission engine so forth. Um, that power then comes down here um, and will apply to the ring gear and then be outputted to the, your axle shafts um, which in turn it gets into your tire. Um, so we did a simple paint mark. We've got a paint mark right here. 
and we have a pink mark on our pinion as well. Um, and basically, for every 5.29 rotations of this pinion, um, it is going to turn your ring gear one full rotation around. Um, essentially, your, your factory is going to be a 373. So uh, it allows uh, the engine to turn much easier, or turn the tires a lot easier. Um, essentially making this uh, ring gear spin faster, making your drive shafts spin faster. Um, this uh, helps with uh, fuel economy, low end power, um, basically allows the vehicle to move itself uh, a lot easier. Um, so kind of just some of the more basic pieces of it. Um, and that's, that's pretty much that. All right, guys, we are happy to announce we are going to be running a promotion on our Regear Special um, for Tacomas, 4Runners. Um, we are offering with master installs, Regear parts, labor, uh, 488s or 529, um, an outdoor price of $2,700 when you mention running for tacos. Uh, give us a shot if you guys have any questions or concerns. Look forward to working with you. All right, Austin again here at True Automotive. I just wanted to thank you for watching our video. Please feel free to subscribe. We'll be coming out with additional monthly videos, um, not only just talking about re-gears, but tons of fun stuff for, for your Toyota and uh, you know that outdoor lifestyle. Um, please feel free to give me any comments, and uh, hope to see you soon.